Thanks so much to, for having me. I am so excited to be at Maximo World. I've been with the Maximo family for a year, um, and this has been my truly my first opportunity to really meet customers and partners face to face. The reason I came to Maximo World is to meet business partners and customers, but also to share the vision for Maximo. Um, I have a session here and I'll be demoing uh, Maximo version 8.5 and I'll be doing it all off my mobile device. So right here, I have all of my work orders. I have integration into um, data from my work orders. I have maps that show me where it's located and I can see and plan my day accordingly. And it's available offline, so I can work and interact with my work orders, with my inspections, with my work logs, all offline and synchronize them with the server when I get back online, which is a great ad because now you can take Maximo truly anywhere. So another thing that I am um, showing while I'm here at the show is that we have a new industry solution and it's called Maximo Health and Predict Utilities. It's actually broken into regions. These are specific to my organization and they tell me you know, whether or not a region's assets are performing well. So here I can see that there's a uh, low health score and then I can see that there's a very high end of life, which means I'm gonna need to be replacing those assets soon. But yet this region is showing me a very high score. So this region is performing better across all of their assets. And I can break that up into whatever zones are important to my business. Uh, one of the things that is uh, resonating with the AI, uh, with user, potential users of AI is that you know, AI for AI's sake is not valuable. How does it impact my day-to-day -day work? Have you ever come across a part and you don't know what the part is and you need to replace it or you need to know what it is in order to continue with your work. And here, I'm gonna take a picture of a part that I have and I could do this in person, it doesn't have to just be with um, uploaded imagery and I can also use text. And as I'm uploading that image, Partium is analyzing the image and deciding what parts it might match. We built in another AI application called Assist and Assist takes all of the data that you have shared through Maximo, let's say work orders, add to that manuals, add to that reports, um, add to that any third-party exogenous data that you have about that asset, and it will comb through that data and then build diagnosis models to help you determine what the root cause of the problem could be. I don't have to read all of those manuals and go through them each time. Let's say that did not help me. Let's say I still have that problem. I can now ask for experts. So I'll take an expert who knows about this particular asset and then I can connect with them and I can bring them into a collaborative session. So that is a collaboration session that includes annotations and also includes voice. And AI learns from that. So we learn from these collaboration sessions where to focus on and we can use them as future reference points. So that takes the current Maximo that you know and love today, puts it on a mobile device offline so that you can use it, and then starts to go beyond that. What can we do with the data, with integrations that will help me reduce the amount of time I'm spending on work execution? What excites me about it is there's so many technologies that have been built over the years at IBM, through business partners, through companies themselves that integrate with Maximo. And that's really what's behind the whole drive for the suite. Look at what types of use cases are gonna drive your business forward and explore the add-ons because now they're all integrated into one umbrella.